Hi, I'm Ransom Stevens, author of The God Patent. Thanks for your questions. This week, our question is, what is the solstice? Well, the geometry of the Earth-Sun system presents four different symmetry points. So, one of them is the winter solstice, which occurs next Tuesday at 3.38 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The other is a summer solstice and two equinoxes, one for spring, the vernal equinox, and one for autumn. The Earth spins about an axis which creates day and night. Now that axis actually hangs at a 66 and a half degree angle with respect to the plane of the Earth-Sun system. This is actually a grapefruit, not the Earth. Uh, and this is what presents these four unique symmetry points. Uh, this is, for example, the way I'm holding it, is an equinox. Now an equinox occurs whether spring or autumn when the axis of rotation is perpendicular to the sun, and thereby you have a 12-hour day on every point on Earth. The summer solstice is this orientation, where the Earth is at its highest point in the northern hemisphere. And you can see there that the North, the North Pole, right there, is lit 24 hours as it spins. It'll stay lit the whole time. The South Pole is dark. Of course, then the winter solstice is like this. Okay, where it's dark and the sun is at its lowest point in the southern hemisphere. That is the winter solstice. It is also the shortest day of the year. Something a little bit unique is that this year the shortest day occurs when there is a full moon. So we will have light on the longest night, which I just love. Now the word solstice comes from the word stop, okay, and the reason for that is if we are position ourselves on Earth, which you know is pretty easy to do, and we watch as the sun goes into the northern hemisphere and then to the, into the southern hemisphere as the seasons change, what we see is essentially the motion of a simple harmonic oscillator like a pendulum. Now notice the thing about the pendulum is that its fastest rate of change, its fastest speed, is right here at the bottom of its trajectory. Those are the equinoxes. That's when the rate of change of the length of the day is at its fastest. At the extremes are the winter equinox and the summer equinox. And what the people saw was that the motion of the sun stopped on those days, and so they called them the solstices. A related question is, how come January 1st isn't on the winter solstice? I don't know. I think it's stupid. It ought to be on the winter solstice. I blame the Romans, though. I do. I blame the Romans. Thank you very much. Please ask me your questions here at Facebook, on YouTube, or send me an email. And here's to light on the longest night.